फिनाइट ऑटोमेटा सोल्यूशन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर विल कवर फिनाइट ऑटोमेटा चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एक्सरसाइज सोल्यूशन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन कंसिडर द लैंग्वेज एल ऑफ स्ट्रेंग्स डिफाइंड ओवर सिग्मा ए एम बी बिगनिंग विद ए कंडीशन इम्पोज ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट इट मस्ट स्टार्ट विद लेटर ए मीन्स दैट एट स्टार्ट बी लेटर इज नॉट अलाउड सो वी सेंड अ ट्रांजेशन ऑफ बी टूअर्ड स्टेट स्टेट and a transition for letter a at final state any word from a or b are accepted at the end so at state 2 we make a transition for a and b now let's make this finite automata deterministic at state 1 both a and b transitions are completed at state 2 again a and b are completed At state three, both A and B are missing. That state is dead state, so we make a loop for A and B at state number three. Now this AP is a complete form of required question. Question number two: Consider the language L of strings defined over sigma A and B, not beginning with letter B. Condition imposed on it is that that machine not begin with letter B. So we send B transition at dead state. Or I said that this machine indirectly state the machine previously we used in question number one. So we send a transition A transition at final state, and the rest of the machine is seen as question number one. Question number three: Consider the language L of strings defined over sigma a and b, beginning with and ending in different letters. Condition imposed on this machine is: If it is start with letter a, then it should end at letter b, or if it is start with b, then it must be ended at letter a. At state one, a and b transitions are completed. At state two. A is missing. If we send A towards state four, it will demolish our condition because machine can accept double A, and machine will end at same letter. Same for state number three. We can't send letter B at state five. At state four and five, both transitions. Are missing, so we complete it under the condition consideration of our condition. We add B transition at state four and send a transition towards state two, and in the same way complete state number five. That is the full or complete finite automata for question number three. Question number four. Consider the following F A defined over sigma a and b. F A does not accept any string, even it does not accept the null string. Condition is, machine do not accept any string. We know if a machine have a final state, then a machine accept words. So in this question, we simply not made a final state, and condition will be fulfilled. This may be the final uh, right automata as well for the question number four. No final state means no word would be accepted. Question number five. Consider the language L of strings defined over sigma zero one having double zeros or double one. Condition is having double zeros or double one. Here we have zero and one in our sigma set. Two zeros and two ones. At state four, we can accept any word because from previous state we get double zeros or double ones. At state two, one transition is missing, so we move it towards state three because at any other state our condition will be disturbed. Same. 
for state number 3 for transition 0. All the states have complete transition, so this finite automata is deterministic. Question number 6. Consider the language L of strings defined over sigma A and B accepts only the word B A A. Condition of this machine is accept only a single word and that word is B A A. All the words will be rejected, so we send all the remaining transitions towards dead state. At state 1, for A transition, we send it at dead state. At B, at state 2, for B letter. At state 3, for B letter. At state 4, both A's and B's. And for dead state, A and B. That FA is the required finite automata for question number 6. Question number 7. Consider the language L of strings defined over sigma A and B accepts exactly two strings AB and BAA. Condition said accept only two words. So we make a machine which accepts these two words BAA. The other word is A, B. And the rest of all words are sent into dead state seen uh, like we have done in question number 6. Question number 8. Consider the language L of string defined over sigma A and B having triple A's or triple B's. The regular expression of this question will be like triple A's and triple B's. At that machine, we have three A's and three B's. Now, make this machine deterministic. Complete state 2 and 3 transitions. Then state 4 and 5 transitions and then state 6 transition. This is the required finite automata for triple A's and triple B's. Question number 9. Consider the language L which belong of sigma set A and B. Neither ends in double A nor double B. Means that language May be end at two words A B or B A. Or in other words, in last we may have A B or B A. The regular expression will be look like A plus B clean clear, then A B plus B A. If we get lambda from A plus B clean clear. Even then, we can get A, B or B, A. The FA will be look like that. Let's complete that FA. State 2 and 3 missing transitions. Now state 4 and 5 missing transitions. This is the required FA for question number 9. Question number 10. Build an FA that accepts only the words BAA, AB, and ABB, and no other string longer or shorter. Means this question accepts only three words, same as question number 7, which were accept two words. Here we have to accept three words, and rest of all will be sent into dead state. First word B, A, and A accepted, A, B accepted, and A, B, B accepted means this finite automata accept only these three words. 
and rest of all will be sent into the dev state. Question number 10, part 2. Build an FA with three states that accept all words. Means all words but with three states. Answer is same as we learned in finite automata example lecture, but here we have to use three states. So the required FA would be look like from state A it get lambda. Then from state 2, it accept single A or single B. At state 3, it would accept double A, double B, B A, A B means length 2 words. And then from state 3, it can accept any word. Question number 11. Build an FA that accepts only those words that have an even number of letters total. If you again read that statement, you can realize that this requirement indirectly means even length word. And we'll learn even length words finite automata in finite automata lecture. So the FA is seen as uh, the finite automata for even length words. Every time this machine generates even length words. Question number 12. Build an FA that accept only those words that do not end with an A. So for BA, we send that word at the dead state and the rest of all words would be accepted from this machine. Here state 4 is act as our dead state. Means this machine reject BA word and accept all other words. Question number 13. Build in an FA that accepts only those words that begin or end in double letter. We already made an FA for starting and ending in same letter in finite automata example lecture. So here we need is to add just two more transitions for A and B in previous example. Double A, double A means starting with double letter and ending in double letter and they should be same. Same for the case of B. After completed or making that finite automata deterministic. Here X and Y are dead states. Question number 14. Build an NFA that accepts only those words that have more than 4 letters. More than 4 letter means we have to make 6 state machine because these 6 states have 5 transitions for letter A and B. Condition is more than 4 letter words so we make state 6 with a final state. Because it accept five or more letter words. Question number fourteen, part one, part two. Build an FA that accept only those words that have fewer than four letters. Fewer than four letter means we have to make four states with three transitions, and all these states are final states. Four or more letters are rejected, so we send them towards state number five. Four letter words, fewer than four letter words means three letter words are accepted from state four, two letter words from state three, one letter word from state two, and lambda from state one. And rest of all words will be rejected. Question number 15. Give finite automata for each of the following three languages. The first one is all binary strings with at least one zero. 
one zero transition towards final state and then make a loop for all zeros and ones at state b and for transition one there is a loop at state one part two all strings all binary strings with at most one zero generated only one zero one or more words for digit one at state b all other zeros will be sent towards dead state here c is act as a dead state all binary strings starting and ending with zeros same as starting and ending with letter um, same letter as we already done infinite automata example lecture with example number 3 so the solution is question number 16 Describe the languages accepted by the following array. Part one. All odd length words, single A or single B, then one, two, and three. Length three words. Then this loop will generate length five words. In other words, all odd length words accepted by Part one, finite automata, the shape. From second part, all words are ended at letter A as the letter A transition is moving towards final state. At part three, again all words that end at letter A because this transition is going with letter A towards final state, and this. Transition again with the letter E is going towards final state. Question number seventeen. The following is an array over the alphabet A, B, and C. Prove that it accepts all strings that have an odd number of occurrence of substring A, B, and C. Here in red pen we show the occurrence of substring A, B, and C with this finite automaton. 